Yo, what's going on, y'all? First off, my Titanfall impressions video should have been up during the weekend, but I was kind of busy and stuff, so I didn't really get the time. But you know, I'm gonna get that up soon because I know a few of y'all want to know my thoughts on Titanfall, you know what I'm saying? So I'll get that up for y'all soon. Probably, yeah, probably in the next few days, I'll have that Titanfall impressions video up from what I played at Eurogamer. But anyway, Battlefield. 4 beta, I Battlefield 4 beta are right now on the PSN. Um, is out on PC, probably on Xbox Live as well. It's um, if you have Battlefield 3 premium or if you pre ordered Medal of Honor or well, if you had Medal of Honor or if you pre ordered um, what's it called Battlefield 4, then the beta should be out for you right now. Um, it comes out for everybody on Friday this Friday coming up um, so yeah download it on Friday but if you got access to it right now go download it right now and play the damn game you know so um so yeah let's get right into it so first off I haven't played Battlefield for like I ain't played a first person multiplayer shooter like properly since probably Battlefield 3 you know, I played bad. I mean, the last time I played Battlefield 3, to be honest, like properly, was I think probably like last year or something. I haven't played a Battlefield for a very long time, you know. I mean, I've been playing obviously GTA and The Last of Us and a shitload of different games this year, you know what I'm saying? So I haven't really played first person shoot as much. So when I jumped on this, I was rusty as hell. Like, I was going into um, the vehicles and I didn't know what I was doing. But, first off, I mean, yeah, first impressions was the game is great. The game is friggin' amazing. Now, my problem with BF3 um, Conquest, because I'm a huge fan of Conquest, you know, always been a fan of Conquest. But we all know, on the consoles, 24 players, Conquest, there'll be a lot of times where you're just running around and nothing's going down because the maps are too big and there's not enough players around, you know. That used to happen a lot in Caspian Border. And when I played this, I started off playing Conquest, and it was pretty much, I mean, it was good, it was really good, it was really fun, but it wasn't that true Battlefield grand scale experience, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I'm really going to be looking forward to the PS4 version with 64 players. So that was one of my main issues with BF BF3, and I think it's going to be the same issue with BF4 when it comes to the PS3 version, you know what I'm saying? But, the game is great, you know. Oh yeah, one other thing. Look at this right now. Look at this. Alright, uh, that's probably a glitch or something. Look, look at this. I have no idea how the meleeing system works in this game. I know they've got counter melees and all that nonsense. I have no idea how it works. Sometimes I'll be meleeing someone and they'll counter and I'll be button mashing. I won't have a clue what I'm doing. So they need to clear that up. They need to show how, how to... um counter knife or how the melee system works you know now one of the main differences with BF3 is that the battle log seems to be more integrated into the game you know it's not I mean if you press select you've got all this battle log stuff which is pretty cool um, obviously it's not the whole battle log um, app in the game but you got a lot of battle log kind of features and integrated into the game so that's pretty cool I mean you can press select anytime within the game and you know you can access battle log some sort of battle log anyway and do a whole bunch of shit another thing I really like is they've got some sort of challenge system so you, I don't know if it's through battle log I, I think it's, it is through battle log but what you can do is create some sort of challenge and you know get your friends to join the challenge so you can have you and three of your boys in this challenge and you know you can set some sort of you know parameters and stuff so get the most kills in a game and all these little challenges and stuff that's pretty cool. Um, I haven't really tried it yet, but that's it seems pretty cool, especially if you're like running in a clan and shit. Um, what else? Oh yeah, five man squads, five man squads this time round. Pretty cool, you know. Sometimes four players, sometimes isn't really enough, but five players, you know, that should be pretty cool. I'm yet to really play this game with like a full squad, 
because on my friends list everybody was trying to get on GTA Online and that shit wasn't working so I jumped on Battlefield 4 beta instead you know I mean it is, it is great you know and then I know it's a beta I know it's a beta there's going to be bugs and all that nonsense so I'm not really complaining about that but what I'm trying to say is the hit detection is good but it's not on point you know there was one time I don't know if it's I don't think it is this in this gameplay but there was one time I was shooting this motherfucker and he was not dropping and I got killed back I was like what the f but you know it's a beer it's a beer like, I don't really mind um, when, I, when I play beers I just go around exploring the game and learning all the new shit in the game you know I mean you get a bunch of people in first person shooters that just want to camp and it's one of the main reasons why I mean I'm a huge first person shooter fan but at the same time it's like one of the reasons why I hate first person shooters because people just want to play like bitches you know what I'm saying and that really puts me off I was playing Conquest on that Shanghai map well it's just pretty much the same map as this but bigger and niggas were just camping on top of buildings and sniping and it's like come on bro I mean your kill to death ratio don't even matter because it's going to be reset once the game comes out so I mean once people realise that I mean first person shooters will be even more amazing but like I said you're always going to get campers in every single first person shooter and it's a shame because it ruins the experience and I know some people might say it's a play style but you know it's not a play style when your team's losing and you're all at the back of the map camping on some building and just shooting people for fun like that's that's not cool but um oh yeah one other thing I like is the new spawn whatever you, the spawn menu like they've really changed it around you've got like the whole view of the map and then you can choose like more clearly about where you want to spawn and stuff look at this guy camping on top of the you know it's, well maybe he's defending the flag I don't know what he's doing but he shouldn't be up there he should be down capturing flags and all that stuff Look at this. Am I getting him? Oh, I got him. I got him. But the um the controls. Now I'm pretty sure that you can customize the controls and stuff, change them around. Well, I hope so anyway. But one thing they've changed from like previous Battlefield games is the controls of the vehicles. Now I'm not talking about the choppers and stuff because I haven't really had the chance to get onto one because everyone's always you know whoring for them but um for like the tanks and the ATVs like in previous Battlefield games it was R2 to go and L2 to break and reverse and it was pretty simple now they've pretty much changed the controls so it's you use the left analog stick to go forward and backwards and use the left analog stick to go left and right as well it just feels so weird I mean R2 and L2 they should have kept it the same because it just feels natural, you know, R2 to go, L2 to break. With the left analog stick, I hope you can change it because I'm not a fan of that. Not a fan of that whatsoever. It feels really weird trying to control a tank and... I mean, you can still aim using the right analog stick, which is pretty cool, obviously. I swear I shot that guy. But, um, yeah, like... There has to be some sort of... I mean, I haven't checked in the beta yet. I'm going to check later on. Oh. I haven't checked in the beta yet, but um, I'm sure you can. I'm sure you can customize it when the whole game comes out. But I mean, one of the reasons why you probably can't do that is because they've added. Um, I forgot what they, they used. To, what was it called again? Basically, when you hold R2, you get a bunch of commands that pop up on screen, so you can communicate with your teammates. So if you hold R2, you will get the option of selecting more ammo. Um, calling out for health packs calling out for you know whatever you can do a whole bunch of shit so that's pretty cool so you hold R2 then you can say a bunch of shit to your teammates I, f I mean for Battlefield 3 there was lots of people asking for it I forgot what it's called again but yeah like you can like communicate with your teammates now by holding R2 then you choose one of the options that pop up on screen now that's pretty cool because we all know not everybody has a mic and well most people will have a mic when it comes to the PS4 and stuff because the mic is in the box so now there's no excuses but obviously 
some people they just don't they just don't, they just don't like communicating so I think that's pretty cool you can like really communicate with teammates now and um domination was great what you're watching now is domination not conquest domination is epic I mean it is so frantic frantic whatever you call it it's so fast paced um like they really it's almost it's crazy it's like 18 players just on one small map everywhere you go you're gonna see someone now right there I accidentally pressed the R3 button for some reason I don't know why I'm still getting used to it because I haven't played Battlefield since like last year so I'm gonna get used to it again and start dominating now I'm not sure what to do I'm not sure if I should get the game on PS3 then upgrade it to the PS4 I mean it's only £10 I don't really mind paying the £10 but but you know if I just get the game for the PS4 like without the PS3 version like it will be like a brand new game but then again I need something to play before the PS4 version comes out obviously well before the PS4 comes out so well I mean I'm gonna get this game day one on the PS4 anyway but I'm just wondering if I should get it for the PS3 but anyway that's it from me the game's great it's a great great game um, let me know what you have down below in the comments don't forget to hit the like and yeah hit me up on Twitter links are always in the description you know 24 and 40 not bad for one of, them, one of my first few games back top player MVP it's all good but anyway let me know what you have down below and I'm out